Barbecue Week here on Wake Up Rochester, and I am out in Penyan with Bami Kurz, one of our winners for the great barbecue grilling contest. And this is a really unique recipe. First, tell me the name of the dish we're making. Uh, it's a Little Reuben Browns. Little Reuben Brown, which everyone who knows who Reuben Brown is, tell me where you came up with the idea for this. Well, I was at the Osbournes, and uh, Maureen Osborne makes these fantastic uh, open-faced Reubens. So we're eating them, and I said, why don't we uh, chop them up in little pieces, and we'll call them Little Reuben Browns. And, and we got a kick out of it. So she goes, you don't need to do that. They have pumpernickel bread. Mm -hmm. It's cocktail pumpernickel bread, and they're already sliced small. Perfect. So. All right, so let's get started. You've done a beautiful display here. It's like you're auditioning for a cooking show here. <laughs> All right, how do we get started? Well, this is the bread at first, and mm -hmm. what you want to do is you want to get uh, sliced corned beef, medium, medium sliced. Okay. All right? Uh, you want to cook your uh, sauerkraut, season it however you want, mm -hmm. put that on there, and you got your Thousand Island dressing. Very good. All right, and then your Swiss cheese, and I, I feel it's important, what you want to do is get your Swiss cheese sliced thin. Mm -hmm. This way it melts over the Reuben. Very good. Okay. And then once you put them together, is this how you put them on the grill yeah, like this? Yeah, what, what okay. I did there is I uh, took some olive oil and, and, you know, greased up the thing so okay. that it doesn't... Uh, doesn't stick, and then we put it on the grill. Now you can cook it in the oven too, but seeing inside of this is a grill. Uh, I know. Segment, we're going to put it on the grill. You get the extra flavor. Now, would you put? Uh, mm. you, you leave them open face. You don't put a little top on them. No, leave it just like that. The cheese, the cheese melts right over it, and this way it stays together really good. All right, we're going to head out there in about 20 minutes, and we're going to show you how Bobby Kerr's makes his little Reuben Browns. All right, once again, here's the recipe, and he was so prepared. They were great out there in Penyan. Okay, the cocktail pumpernickel bread slices, you can get those anywhere, of course. Sliced corned beef, he said medium slice, medium consistency is good. Thousand Island dressing, I like a little Russian dressing sometimes, but Thousand Island dressing is good too. Sauerkraut, which you need to cook and make yourself, or I think you can buy it at Wegmans Prepared. And also Swiss cheese, and once again, you can, you know, maybe use a provolone if not, but uh, Swiss cheese, and they really didn't take much time mm. at all. They love to tailgate with this recipe while they're watching the Bills games. It's the really only cool. question is, if I make these, do I have to put it in the little compartments that he put it in? Little, like, oh, like he did step. the little wheel. That, <laughs> he was, that was so amazing. Great. Well, yeah, he wanted to show us every single step. And of course, like he had mentioned where he got the idea from a friend who made the full size, which mm. you can do that too as a meal, make the full size. Now the big question, is okay. it worth the big trip out to Penyan? Oh my gosh, it was, it was a beautiful drive out there to Penyan. And, and what's they the food were so, good? Oh, they well, you'll have right? to stick around for 20 minutes uh, we'll when I do my out. little taste test, I right? I hope you brought me some back. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, they you ate all of them. Okay. Now. All right, jazz fans, get ready. Tickets go on sale today for the jazz festival. And what could be near record?